Hello guys and welcome to another car exposed video. So we are burning on the, the midnight oil, uh, fixing this uh, Corsa uh, D. Uh, the HVAC blower, flam blower is not working. So I got, let me put the light on here. All right, so already obviously diagnosed this car, but um, I know what the problem is. Basically, I was having a conversation with another person the other day. So you see the fans connected there and the ignition is on right now. You can see that the ignition is on. So we're going to turn position one, two, three, four. So basically not too working. And I left the resistor out here. And that's basically the issue there. Not the resistor itself, but I'll show you in a second. Right, so I was basically having this conversation with this chap the other day, which, you know, he used the multimeter for everything. And he asked me, you know, do you use the multimeter or the test lights? I mate, mean, I use the test light for everything. Or let's say most of, most things I use the test light. Obviously, because you can load the circuit. And I think this is a good example why this blower is not coming on so i'm gonna test for voltage at the plug of the blower motor there and let's put the multimeter on and let's change to voltage dc so if you turn the the diode there to position one uh ricardo please so as you can see we have voltage right position two is three four always gonna you know it's gonna show voltage so you think you know oh there's no problem with the the wiring i hope you guys can see that there's no problem with the wiring let's replace the fun and if you replace the fun in this situation you would have replaced the fun for nothing now let me put my test light oh, i should have left connected here Let's connect that up again. There. And there. There we go. Now I'm going to co connect my test light to, I think the, I think the orange is the actual power. Yeah, it is. That's the other side of the test light. So, so let me, Turn the light off on the phone. Can you turn that to position four? All right, so we are on position four. Uh, I can see, let me remove the focus. All right, so try to keep it there so you can see a little bit better. So I'm using the same plugs for the, and I don't know if it's gonna show that well, but um, for me here, I can see this light is very dim comparing to, you know, connected to a proper powering ground. Now I'm gonna use a ground in a car and I hope it comes through, but it should be a lot brighter. I don't think it's gonna show that well. It does. It does there, but not on the phone, I don't think. Yeah. But anyway, I can tell, I can tell here, looking at the test light, it's quite deemed, rather than connecting to the car. So connecting the car, a lot brighter. So anyway, the problem with this car is, if you look at the resistor, you can probably see the main ground kind of burnt. So the left, or oh, pink five, I believe. The left pin, it's all burnt. And then when you look at the plug itself, that brown, brown wire, which is basically the feed to the motor, you can see it's all burnt up there and the actual plug as well 
you know, the brown uh, left connection there, the fifth, yeah, the first connection on the left, you can see that it's all, it's all burnt. So there's high resistance on that uh, connector and uh, it's unable to obviously give the, the right current for the, for, for the motor to work. And uh, it's unfortunate because looking at the camera, I can, I can see this, you can't really see that much difference, but I had other courses so that I've done the same thing. I replaced the plug and the test light wouldn't actually light up. I was expecting the test light to maybe not light up, but uh, here in person, I can definitely see the difference uh, connecting to the body of the car. It's nice and bright connecting to the plug of the motor. Uh, it's quite dimmed, so even on a position four. Might be. I think it's one of those. Ah, here. Yeah. Yeah. Price. Yeah. Twenty. With uh, with VAT. Twenty two oh six. Twenty two oh six. So there you go. We have a harness and another resistor to to fix this plug, and it costs twenty two quid. We've got the part number here. Comes with a brand new resistor in the pack, packet or in the box, a new plug, and in this plug there's a little well, it's a little bit different. You only have four wires going to the plug. So with the plug, the, the fourth pin which is missing, right as you can see there, the fourth pin is missing there, uh, where you have the orange wire. On that plug it's going to be our main ground and in this case the ground for for the motor is actually this plug is actually this wire going from the resistor to the actual plug to the motor uh, when i remove it i'll show you i'm going to have to remove that we're only going to have four wires here now so the first three say is the same the orange, which is uh, position four, is gonna be our brown on this one. And as you can see, they actually joined this uh, brown uh, rather than rather than going through the resistor, is joined here, which gives you position four, and also the other end goes to the actual motor. So I'm gonna replace that, and then. I'll show you the old plug. Right guys, so wiring loom is fixed. So that is the old, the old wiring loom that was in the car. So like, like I told you, the brown, uh, the ground wire to the motor basically goes through the resistor there. So instead of going through the resistor, now it's joined with the orange. So that's why we have four wires now. So the brown wire is eliminated. And we're gonna go ahead. Uh, yeah, that's the state of the wire here. I think you can probably see that. Don't know if it's gonna break. Well, it can break it eh? anyway. <laughs> it doesn't want to break that well, but you can see there's all so like burnt there. Now let's go ahead and fix our resistor, which is here. Way. No, no, it's not. And now it can go inside there. So basically, it goes inside and it's light. If I remember correctly. Yeah, there you go. And then there's a bolt. Now we're going to connect this one. Then we have this five mil, I think it's a 5.5 mil little bolt that goes there. I normally use a uh, Imperial uh, socket for that. I can't remember the size of it, but I think it's 5.5. .5. Now, before we finish this off, we can try the, the fan. So you wanna turn it on. There we 
go. So you see, that, that was my point again, you know, if you test for voltage of the plug, you change the fan because for, oh, you've got voltage, you need a new fan. But obviously testing with the test light, in another case that I replaced this, uh, I think it's quite a common thing, I replaced this plug in another Corsa. The test light didn't actually light up or lit up, but we had voltage of the plug, you know, so it can get caught there. So that's why the test light is so good in this sort of situation. Oh, interesting. That loads, loads the circuits basically, you know. With this test light, we could see that there was, you know, the light was coming on, but uh, it was a bit dim, so there's not enough current, you know, going through because of the resistance that that's why it's burning. So now we're just gonna tidy up the wire there, uh, the loom, and put everything back, cast fix. All right guys, I decided to do a little bit of a bench test here. I realized the video is a bit confusing when I was talking about the two orange cables there. Some some extra bonus footage there for you. Uh, so the orange on the, the actual plug to the motor obviously is a 12 volts uh, positive uh, ignition terminal 15. And then you have the other orange, which is going to be position four, the ground on the plug for the for the resistor. So yeah, don't don't get that confused. So the, the other three wires, uh, it's still the same. Um, you know, position one, two, and three, and then four goes through here. And as you can see, that terminal on the resistor there is slightly thicker because basically those two wires are shorted there. So what we did on a on a new harness from Vauxhall, instead of having that two wires shorted there, uh, we eliminated the brown wire, and then you have this position for the main ground just joined together, going straight to the motor. So that's that's why we only have four connections. It eliminates the brown wire joint up here, not there. Now, let me bench test this, because I, I believe the last time, like I mentioned in the video, where the, the lights didn't light up, I was using a light bulb, which is basically um, a test light, but it needs about three, three and a half amps to, to get full, full light out of that, full power. And the test light obviously is 100 milliamps. So that's why it was able to obviously light up. Now, let me use my Genius to power, power this up. So connect it here and then gonna use my, oop, my test probes in here. So connect it to, to the plug that goes to the, to the motor. Let's give some, some beans. There you go, as you can see. 11.41 volts and our light bulb on a H7 there is not lighting up it's not it's not lit now let me use my test light uh, to see if we're gonna if we're gonna get the same thing that we was, we was getting in the car oh, there we go it's a little bit dim but like like in the car, it's like exactly the same thing that we had. So that explains why obviously the fern in the car didn't work. The blow in the car didn't work. Uh, I believe the fern in the car is about what seven amps. About that seven, ten amps, I believe. I might be wrong on that. But obviously it's not able to to get that light bulb going, which is about three, three and a half. Let's have a look, let's quickly check that. There we go. Let's put this uh, power supply on again. There we go. Let's see how many amps does it, to be honest, I can't remember. Right, as you see, let's clear that. 3.7, 3.8. So one point. So there we go. I don't know if you can see that, 3.7, 3.7 amps, so much more than a test light, so that's why um, it doesn't light up the bulb and doesn't the, the firm motor doesn't work.
So there you go, guys. I hope I didn't confuse you guys too much. But um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. The car is fixed. A uh, friend of mine, Ricardo, is happy. Uh, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any comments, just leave it below. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.